Hi, welcome back everybody, it's Mike Newton down here at Leatham Golf Academy. It's Mizuno time, it's ST200 and it's the TS fairway wood in the three wood in particular. So we're going to take a look at this very tour inspired shape, beautiful looking golf club here. We've got adjustability in that next seat, we've got a bit of tech happening in the head so we're going to go through that. Obviously hit some shots, provide you with some data from GC Quad on its performance and give you an idea how this uh, TS fairway wood per performs. Okay, so new launch of ST200 range. I've done the reviews of the drivers and you can go and check that out. I'll put a little link up there. So some good performance with those and some beautiful stunning looks. And that definitely comes into this three wood as well. So if you're wanting that sort of very tour inspired, neat, beautifully shaped, classy, quality looking fairway wood, this is ticking all those boxes. Putting that down by that golf ball, it's absolutely stunning. It just sits as square as the like as you put it down, which I love black glossed out finish, a little bit of that carbon just coming through in that back section, that white sort of edging around the back there looks absolutely stunning. And the club face is, is instead of it being like um, a, a sort of steel, you know, silvery look, it's like a gunmetal finish. And that gunmetal against the black of the top looks quality. I think it looks absolutely stunning. So technology wise happening here, we've got the wave technology, but it's now more compact. So that's saving weight, they're saving a little bit more weight in that crown, redistributing that back and deep in that uh, club face again to help um, ease of launch there, but control the sort of spin in the actual head. We've got adjustability in the neck sleeve so we can dial in this loft. This is a three wood at 15 degrees of loft. Um, obviously you can go up or down by two, so you can knock this down to 30, make it like a strong three wood, two wood area, or more move this up into more of a forward area in that four, uh, sorry, 17 degree mark. Um, but again, it's absolutely stunning. So let's get this first one hit. Beautiful behind the golf ball. Very confident inspiring there. Just, it just, I'm just wanting to put a good shot on this to do it justice with the way it looks. Okay, not a bad opening shot. A little bit on that toe side there. Just giving that a little bit of that right to left shape. That's not doing too bad there, 274. I'm not a perfect strike. And that's one of the other aspects that, or technology that Mizuno have put into this is the marriage in steel face. So a little bit firmer on that club face, especially across the entire face. So trying to keep up that ball speed on those, on those miss hits, as well as that consistency of the spin. Good strike again. There's no issues of getting that in the air there, flight is. Sometimes when you look at that TS, you think that tall, tall head, it's gonna be very low, very difficult to sort of flight there. But as I say, they're saving weight in that top, they're saving weight in that wave section on the sole and reposition that in deep there. So still getting plenty of flight on that, which is good. Cause again, I'm hitting these off the ground and I would like to test a three wood off the ground cause typically you're gonna be using this from the fairway. Obviously it can be an option off the tee, but if you're popping it on a tee, it's gonna be literally a very small one, isn't it? Oh, that's a lovely shot. Great strike, great sound to that. Definitely a little bit more muted than the uh, driver. Again, just that nice little draw up that left hand side. Club head speed one, one, ten, ball speed one, five, six, carrying out two, five, five, spinning just under three thousand. So some good numbers there for three wood and probably where I'd like to sort of see it sit, especially that spin number there, get around that sort of three thousand lowish sort of numbers. Cause you sort of want this going out there, don't you? As much as you can, you don't want that climbing one. Sometimes you see off the ground, the strikes can tend to get a little bit low in the club face. And that's where this wave technology will kick in. You see that groove. Uh, sat behind the club face, those low strikes. You're going to get a little bit of flex, and again, it's trying to keep ball speed up. So, just going back to the club face here, this Marage in steel, it's actually a multi thickness, and they call it a cortex face. So, it's multi thickness there. So, again, it's a, all about keeping that uh, ball speed up across that entire club face on those miss hits. So, it's ultimately trying to get the, the COR up to pretty much like a COR of a driver, which is, which is tough to do. So, the, the, again, it's expecting big ball speeds off this club face, that's what Mizuno was saying. That's a good shot as well, just a little bit in that heel side, but very neutral. I guess that's going to drop off a little bit on distance there, because I think flush that, but 269 is not bad. That was definitely, just looking at my ball mark on the face there, just a little bit in that heel side there. Just didn't quite feel quite as fast off the club face, but still done pretty decent there, and it's a fair way find, that's the important thing. Thank you. 
again really good strike on there nice flight yet again love the sound of that it looks absolutely stunning feels really solid again there's loads of different shaft options as we know through custom fit we've got different dial ability in in the neck sleeve so if you're trying to help a certain bad shot you've got you've got that option to do that through the neck sleeve the other um fairway wood that they offer is the x obviously to go with the 200 x driver which is a little bit obviously light a little bit more higher launching so a little bit of a different animal to this but it's a glued product so it's not adjustability so if you don't want that adjustability maybe you just need some help launch the golf ball maybe a little bit more that draw based uh, sort of golf club then that maybe that x fairway is the one to go into but let's go look at some numbers with the s uh, sorry the ts fairway wood and see how it's performing Okay, so let's look at uh, some numbers there. So we see ball speed there at 152.5 as an average, ball speed at one, uh, sorry, clubhead speed at 109 miles per hour. So we're seeing launch angle around that sort of 10 degree mark, spin number on average at 2738, uh, which is good as an average. You can see it just fluctuates a little bit. My strike's gonna change that. First couple of shots I hit were a little bit toey. You see that just that draw, ball speed just drops a little bit. Spin gets pulled off as we know more on that sort of toe strike. Gave me a little bit more right to left uh, sort of shaping. So that's where those numbers just pulled a little bit. And then the last uh, one was a little bit, or a couple last was a little bit heel side got a little bit more of that neutral shape for me a little bit up that peel up that right hand side and obviously we know then that pops the spin up a little bit but as an average you know those sort of go against the middle one probably the the best strike i would say was probably that one there which reflects on its ball speed at one five six spin at two nine so two seven i think it's a decent sort of average there and a good average where i'd expect to sort of see it peaking out 28 yards on its on its flight 252 on the fly running out potentially 273 okay guys so there we go there's the st200 in the ts version in the fairway three wood beautiful looking golf club great shape sits fantastic behind the ball oozes quality you could just tell by the finish of the head it's just a very well made uh, golf club just the attention to detail and the finish just looks absolutely amazing so performs very good there it's it's as good as i would want a fairway wood to sort of perform really in terms of the numbers looks good ticks a lot of the boxes for me even though i'm not a, a biggest fan of a fairway wood I could, I could quite easily put that in, in the bag. Uh, adjustability wise is good, so you've got some adjustment there. Obviously, if you don't want the adjustment, you've got the X head to work into as well. Uh, but post your comments down below, let me know your thoughts on that and the whole ST200 range with the drivers. If you haven't watched that video, there'll be a link coming up very soon. You can go and check those three models of drivers out in a little bit more detail. If you haven't subscribed, enjoy the content. Loads more coming your way this year, very early into 2020, January. Loads of product releases, gonna be loads of comparison videos coming. Uh, just not quite enough hours in the day at the moment um, but those videos will be coming your way very soon so do hit that subscribe button ring the bell so you will not miss a future video and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon